Then again, uh, we not only did I finish uh, did I finish later last uh, this morning, and this is the, this is where the problem comes in. I'd like to say yesterday because I've just woken up about a half hour ago. The problem was it wasn't yesterday. I didn't go to bed yesterday. I went to bed at around uh, eight o'clock in the morning this morning. So <laughs> there isn't a yesterday for me. This is and this is what happened before. Uh, when you saw the days morphing into one, more than one day morphing into one, uh, there wasn't uh, a period of time where there was one day, then the next day, there was sort of, I finished at one part of the day and then woke up the next part of the day, so a few hours later. And in between that, I think around 10, 11 o'clock, around 10, 11, I woke up again and uh, finished uh, uploading uh, yesterday's episode, uh, the last episode, uh, to uh, Big Bang CRL to uh, YouTube. So, yeah, it, it, it takes uh, some time, like, if, if things go over, and yesterday's video ended up being 40 minutes, uh, <laughs> unintentionally, and when it goes over like that, the amount of time it takes to upload things. Uh, it usually is about is about two hours, so it's two hours to upload. It took about an hour and a half to render, so that's about three and a half hours worth of worth of time. But I think we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to get some more RAM for the computer, just basically beef up the computer a little bit more, sort of speed up the, the rendering process. There's nothing I can do about the uploads the upload speed. Uh, because right now, that's sort of the upload limit uh, without expending a lot more money than I, than I currently am for my internet uh, services. So, that leaves us in the zone that I will probably not be doing uh, 1080p anytime soon. It also leads me in a corner where, and if you noticed that yesterday, that now I have to go in and do some more technical work on the thing, because a bug popped into the editing yesterday. And if you notice that the last, in the last segment, the last chunk of the, the last chunk of the booktube section, where I'm a a answering the tag uh, Seven Deadly Sins, what you'll end up finding is that the last segment, the last ten, I think the last ten minutes, the audio is out of sync with the video, and somehow that crept in. Uh, I've got to sit down, sort of really figure this out, and then uh, go from there. So there is a technical glitch I've got to sort of fix up and make sure that's on the ne not in the next video. I said the difficulty is though you don't always often see these things until uh, you actually render because even though you're working in your editor. The editor doesn't always show you exactly what you're going to get when you're finished. It does a good job at approximating things, but the actual product, when you finish it, is kind of unknown. And the thing is, when you've got, when it takes an hour and a half to render something, and then you find there's a mistake in the end, and it didn't come out exactly the same way, then you've got a problem that you could just spend another hour and a half uh, rendering it, so that's like, like that's that, that's three hours right there just for editing and rendering. 
And, well, editing, it can take you a lot more than that. Editing uh, now takes, uh, I need to spend about a half hour, 45 minutes just putting the edits together, making sure I get the flyby graphics right, you know, not the, the, the sort of dynamic graphics. Flyby graphics, I'm going to be working on those in the next couple of months. I should have flyby graphics for you, uh, and maybe some more dynamic graphics. But uh, right now, uh, this is the way it's going. Um... Yeah, so I think things are going well. And uh, I said this is behind the scenes, so and this is behind the scenes of uh, or the reality show for behind the scenes of a real life nerd. I am a nerd. Uh, you, you can check my comments every now and again. You will find out that people react to me in very much the same way they do nerds. As I get, I get comments, ooh and verb and creepy and this and that and. A whole bunch of other things along those lines. So yeah, I am a, a nerd, and just like uh, you would see on Big Bang Theory. So uh, the my decision was to leave the Big Bang Theory RL show uh, open and raw. That, or, that's the reason why there's uh, the my fumbles, my search for thoughts, my mistakes. All that's not it, it, all that's not. None of it, I should say, none of it is cut out. It's all kept in. And this is the way typically a, a lab book would work, is that when you work in a lab book, you don't cross it, you don't erase mistakes, you cross it out, and you note that this is in there. Uh, because you want to see how and where you made the mistake before. It, it, it becomes a log to your work. And so you can go back and Big Bang Theory around, and go from the beginning and see how we evolved, from one point to the next point, and you can see this evolution. And this will back up all the other documentaries in uh, that come out from all the different institute channels. Is that you'll see the progress as we go from one thing to the next thing. So that is, we're going to stay open. We're going to stay one take here. We're not going to be sort of cutting things in and out. Uh, when you go on to the Institute channels, they're going to be the same thing. They're going to be very raw. Uh, a lot of clips that are sort of out of sequence or things didn't, didn't work out, they're going to be up there. I'm not going to be deleting the mistakes. Uh, the next, the only place you're going to see something that's somewhat polished will be Physics TV. Physics TV is where the finished product uh, typically comes out. So you'll be able to see everything from concept to initial testing to uh, layout work, everything, all the all behind the scenes work will be done here and on the Institute channel, and the final product, the final documentary will be coming out on uh, Physics TV. So I'm going to leave that here for now. This is going to be the first segment, and I will see you in the next segment. Alrighty, take it easy. Alrighty, it's uh, we're back to the next segment of Big Bang Theory. It's three o'clock in the morning. And we're at the editing desk. I actually got a lot more editing done today in addition to uh, more cleaning. As I said, the weekend is the weekend is for cleaning time. So we're chugging ahead with that. Uh, so, you know, things are getting done. Getting more used to the, the Caden Live that we're doing things on, on, on Linux. It's, it's not always as, as easy and cut and dry as it seems, but I don't think uh, it's also a larger learning curve than using any of the professional software. Uh, there are certain things you can and can't do on here. There are ways that you have to sort of, uh, you have to use workarounds many, more often than not rather than simply just doing things the way you, you know, straightforward. So, yeah, that's, listen, as long as it works, it works. Uh, and that's what's happening here. So, I got another couple hours to go. I, I realized that uh, doing the, uh, the editing the graphics, preparing the graphics for the dynamic graphics, uh, was actually a fairly significantly large job. And I ended up uh, redoing the, um, actually not redoing, I created a logo uh, and graphic for Physics TV because I talk about Physics TV a lot, so I created a graphic for that. So the question is now is that uh, I've got, still got to work on bringing more graphics down to down to the desktop here, but I've got a standard amount that I typically use so that as I talk about different things, there can be graphics uh, 
to my left. <laughs> I had said it with the graphics on my right, on my right, no, they're not, they're not on my right here. In this room here, they're on the left. Uh, uh, and more often than not, they're on the left, so. <sighs> we'll see what happens. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta see how things go if, if I'm filming in the other, or if I'm filming at the, at the other desk, uh, where they're gonna be. Well, yeah, well, anyways, when I'm sitting at the, uh, here, <laughs> this is where I get mixed up, and Cassandra talks about this too, getting f fumbling up her words. And the thing is, is that here at the editing desk, the uh, the graphics are going to be on the left. The dynamic graphics are going to be left. Uh, in the uh, back room where I sit and I do my reading on the couch, that's going to be anytime I do my booktube stuff back there. And in the, the first thing of the morning. The graphics are going to be on the right in terms of the dynamic graphics, and I'm pretty sure that uh, they're also going to be on the right when I'm at the main research desk. So, <laughs> uh, uh, bit by bit, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get it figured out where the graphics are going to go. But the thing for this uh, today, I decided that uh, rather than doing um, one, well, sorry, rather than doing two episodes on the weekend. Because the weekend more often not morphs into one day, the two Saturday and Sunday morph into one day, uh, I decided to do uh, one episode on the weekend. So one episode is going to cover Saturday and Sunday. So that's why how things are going to end up working out. That's the, we're going to schedule things, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, take it easy. See you in the next uh, next segment. Yeah, we're back for yet another segment of Big Bang Theory. It's now 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, Sunday morning, 5.30 in the morning. And it's going to be a long day, long. Uh, so, yeah, the uh, this episode of Big Bang Theory is going to cover the two days, Saturday and Sunday. And it's going to be fairly typical. So basically... Rather than having uh, episodes seven days a week, it's going to be six episodes a week, where Saturday and Sunday are sort of morphed into one day, which is kind of what really happens here anyways, is that, that Saturday and Sunday are kind of morphed into one day, so what can I say? Uh, if you may or notice, there's an extra graphic up here for now. Uh, that, that extra graphic... Uh, is the Physics TV graphic so that's a new logo for, uh, for, for, for Physics TV. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting tired. Uh, and yeah, it's gonna be up there just to remind people that this is where this is going. We're all everything is moving towards Physics TV. This is gonna be our first reality show, our first show on Physics TV. And then other shows are going to be developed in here and eventually moved out on to Physics TV. So you'll see all the behind the scenes work here. You'll see everything that goes on. And if you look at the, if you go to the end, and here is uh, what I'm talking about. You will see that uh, if you just saw that that, that that clip there, that's basically my identifier. At the end of the at the end of every uh, episode, there's going to be that, and uh, then there's the other one about uh, free speech. Free speech rules here. That's the second one. At the end. Oh, excuse me. Basically, the first one that I just showed you, the clip I just showed you, that is my identifier. I am the librarian. I am the professor. I'm a physicist. So, that's my identifier. And it comes from a TV show that I watched as a kid. 
and these are the two people that I wanted to be when I was a kid. So I'm here now and uh, living up my childhood uh, fantasy. So yay for me. And what else is there? I think that's about it for now. Uh, I am going to be looking for sponsors, so if you're interested in sponsoring the show and having your own little thing at the end, uh, uh, I'd be more than happy to sort of discuss that with you. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we're moving ahead, and um, I just got f finished reviewing uh, the episode that just went up today. It's uh, Friday's episode, uh, August 24th. I just uh, sort of uh, watched that episode. And I'm going to be pushing it out to the social networks right now. So that it should be up there and sort of visible uh, for, su for Sunday. Anywho, I will see you guys uh, maybe in the next segment uh, for maybe a good night segment. Or uh, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen for today. I don't know when I'm going to go to sleep, <laughs> how long I'm going to sleep for. Anyway, see you in the next segment. Alright everybody, I'm back. And it's time for the next segment of uh, Big Bang CRL. It's 21 hours and 24 minutes into uh, Sunday. Yeah, let me see what the day is actually. Yeah, Sunday, August 26, 2012. Yeah, date and timestamp. Makes it easier for editing. <laughs> uh, so that's uh, one of the reasons why I do what I do. Uh, oh, what am I on to now? Oh, yeah. Efficiency. Efficiency is the amount of energy put into doing a particular effort. Uh, or a project or anything you want to do. The least amount of energy you can actually put into it, the better. In other words, if you want to be more efficient, then you should be able to start t take your, the initial amount of energy put into something, then figure out a way to have that same event, that same project that you're working on, take up less energy. That way, um, you can either relax more or fit more stuff into that period of time because your efficiency is getting better, you're taking less time and less energy to do something, that means you can put more into that schedule. And that's sort of what the name of the game is this, this weekend here. This weekend was to fix up and finish up uh, everything I had done last week, compact it, make it more efficient, and then get ready for the new week to, put, to do the same thing. And so this week, I'm going into this week, uh, completely open, I'm gonna add a, ho a whole bunch of new stuff in, and, and on the weekend again, uh, it will be the cleanup and or reorganization time. So basically, uh, every weekend is reorganization time. Uh, during the week, from Monday to Friday, you put in more stuff, more uh, work to be done. And then on the weekends, you reorganize again. And so that's sort of the way things go. Uh, the cleaning projects are going very well. And what I've done, rather than... Uh, leaving everything in one massive project, I, I separate things into projects. And uh, you need to sort of uh, make them into a manageable project that, so they can be done over a period of time uh, and not necessarily all at once. Because you're trying to balance all the different things that have to go up. Mm, that have to go on here. So, yeah, anyway, I got the graphics done, the graphics done for Physics TV. So, physical TV stuff will be coming up. Uh, actually, this week I should be getting some, through some maybe some new physical TV ideas. Uh, I will uh, test them out uh, either in this episode or maybe the next episode. I don't know. We'll see what, what happens, uh, uh, how much time I've got here uh, to do that. Then I'm also working on the first project. Before I get into the physical TV project, I have to bring back... Uh, and get uh, the DECB Economics TV and on and back into working order. So uh, I'll be doing uh, the economic support today as well as a news report. We'll see how things go. See, you know, that's about an hour's worth of uh, programming, and we'll see how things go from there. So, 
uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot, another late night, so I'm expecting maybe to finish 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll see how things go. Alrighty, take it easy. Yeah, it's 5, uh, 20 in the morning, 5, 24 in the morning, yeah, so it's about 5, 30 in the morning. And I'm back here doing this last segment uh, at the editing bay, but this is also where I'm going to be filming uh, some instructional videos, some news, and some economic news. So, yeah, this is uh, going to be another student. We got that. Get, we're slowly but surely getting everything back in working order. Before we had everything in working order, we're using uh, the webcams off the laptops. Now we're moving up to we we're moving everything up to 720p, and we're getting all of the uh, studios, uh, the shooting areas. Uh, back into working order again. So that's what I've been doing all day today, is just working on that, working on a lot of graphic overlays. Uh, I've got, uh, what did I get done today? Uh, I got um, the news channel INN, uh, in, uh, Internet News Network, got that logo done. I got the logo done for, and graphics done for uh, DCB Economics TV. Uh, yesterday I was able to get done uh, the uh, physics TV graphics. That's all done. So yeah, we're we're, we're moving ahead. We're, we're you know chugging forward. I did a first workup of the news today. Uh, I'm gonna work on getting that out later on, and uh, we'll see how everything goes. So yeah, this is everything's working out very well. Uh, got a lot of cleaning work done. And so we're keen to be going into uh, Monday, well, what is it, Monday already, uh, you know, all ready to go. So uh, we'll see how this week ends up turning out, and see you on the interwebs. All right, take it easy. This is it for uh, this episode of Big Bang Theory or Out. Good night. Professor of what? Professor of physics. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.